Did you know that in ancient times, silk cloths and silk brocades were imported into India from China via the sea trade route? This has been noted by the 5th century Sanskrit poet Kalidas, who wrote drama romances, and he may have used the Chinese silk in his drama performances. Did you know that Basant Panchami, the North Indian festival of spring, is celebrated by many Muslims in the dargahs or shrines of Chishti Sufis, such as that of Nizamuddin Aulia in Delhi? The colorful Sufi Basant was started by Amir Khusro in 14th century with qawalis and songs of spring. Did you know that in the Indus Valley town of Mohenjo-daro, the east-west alignment of the main streets was based on the Pleiades star cluster? or Kritika, which rose due east at that time. Did you know that the delicious samosa or stuffed triangular patty that all Indians love to eat actually came long time ago from Central Asia or Arabia, known in the places of its origin with various names such as Samsa, Sambusak or Sambusach. In South Asia, it was introduced by the Middle Eastern chefs during the Delhi Sultanate era. Did you know that many European artists and Jesuit missionaries traveled to India in 16th century and found a thriving culture of arts and painting? When the British traveler Sir Thomas Rowe and the Italian adventurer Pietro della Wall entered the buildings of Mughal emperors, they found the walls covered with Italian Renaissance style murals depicting Christ, the Madonna, and Christian saints. The travelers also discovered schools of Mughal artists working on miniature paintings, exquisite jewellery and sculptures featuring the same subjects. Knowledge of history can be exciting, but many facets of our rich history and heritage remain hidden in old books and museums. We hardly find time to explore the fascinating world of our past. In fact, in this age of science and technology, some believe that history simply contains stories of kings and queens and the wars they fought to control more lands. Being too engrossed in the attractions of present or future, many of us forget or ignore the past. But can we really understand the present or future by ignoring our past? Today's young generation is getting educated mostly from the online or digital sources. There is a common culture of copy and paste from freely available data on the internet. There are few chances of learning through curiosity and discovery. The only knowledge they want to acquire is the one that brings them a job. Mainstream media such as television and cinema only show glitzy entertainment or sensational news. There's no space left for traditional arts, culture and history. Very soon, our children may grow with hardly any exposure to their cultural roots. Itihas, or Educational Technology for Indian History, Arts and Society, is an online initiative to popularize Indian history and heritage among youth and adults through audiovisual and film media. It is not only a source of basic school and college level information, but also an archive where scholars and advanced researchers or journalists would be able to find insights into the concepts of history and heritage. The focus of Itihas is to highlight the pluralism and sharing of traditions in Indian arts and heritage, especially to show that India is not a monolithic country of one religion or one sect only. A visitor to Itihas website will have a rich search experience with several levels of knowledge and understanding. If, for instance, a user types Indo-Persian in the search box, she gets a number of results including a short video clip, a definition with all the keywords or tags, a timeline, its relevance in literature, architecture, governance or food, etc. These could have further and deeper links to videos and interviews. The making of Itihas Archive is a long-term project that involves several stages such as the production of short introductory videos, recording and curation of interviews with scholars and experts, digitization of existing images, videos and other archival material, and curation of all this data and media into an interactive and searchable online database. The team of Itihas comprises of historians, researchers and multimedia professionals who have decades of experience in research, teaching and knowledge dissemination. All this needs your support. For more details, visit our website itihas.in.